Hey, what's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking a 4 mm diameter and 10 cm long aluminum fin is attached to a surface. If that heat transfer coefficient is this value, determine the percent error in, straight of, in the rate of heat transfer from the fin when the infinitely long fin assumption is used instead of adiabatic fin tip assumption. Now let's see how we can do this. But before we do this, we have to know two of the equations the first equation is q dot long fin right so q dot long fin is going to be always expressed like this that's going to be equal to square root of hpkac right times tb minus t infinity so here h is heat transfer coefficient perimeter thermal conductivity cross sectional area base temperature and ambient temperature now also we have to know another equation that is q dot insulated tip right so for insulated tip the only difference is going to be we are going to multiply it by tan hyperbolic ml so here we are going to have same until this one so hp ksc tb minus t infinity times tan hyperbolic tan hyperbolic ml right so this is the equation we are going to use now so here the question is asking for percent error right to find the percent error we use this equation percent error is going to be equal to q dot long fin minus q dot insulated tip over q dot insulated tip right so since we have this equation now let's plug this equation and see what we get because we can cancel some of the values and simplify them right so q dot long fin, long fin is this one hpkc tb minus t infinity so this is long fin minus insulated tip that's square root of HPKSC TB minus T infinity tan hyperbolic ML right and in the denominator we are going to have Q insulated tip that's going to be HPKSC TB minus T infinity tan hyperbolic ml you can already see we can cancel some of the terms right here so here we have this one common everywhere so we can cancel this one everywhere and also tb minus t infinity is common everywhere so we can cancel these two now we are left with so this is going to be just one so one minus tan hyperbolic ml over also we have tan hyperbolic ml remaining the denominator so we are going to write tan hyperbolic ml now we can also simplify this one as 1 over tan hyperbolic ml minus tan hyperbolic ml over tan hyperbolic ml right so this is from this one we know that we can cancel these two and that's going to become 1 over tan hyperbolic ml minus 1 right now to find this one we need length and m value so we have the length in the question but we have to find the m value right to find the m value we can use this equation m is equal to square root of hp over kac so that's the equation we use to find m value now h is heat transfer coefficient so let's plug the values heat transfer coefficient is 12 so 12 times perimeter so since this area is circular so we are going to use perimeter for a circle perimeter for a circle is 2 phi r or you can use phi d since we have diameter we can directly use phi d and find the answer so this is going to be 5 times so here we have 4 millimeter diameter if I convert it to meter, that's going to be 
zero zero four meter right and uh, let's forget about the unit for now as long as we keep everything in SI units that's fine now we have 0 0.04 meter and in the denominator we are going to have thermal conductivity so that's given by 237 and again we have cross sectional area cross sectional area is going to be circle for a circle we use to find the area we use phi r square over phi d square by 4 since we have the diameter we can use phi d square by 4 phi d square by 4 is going to be phi times 0 0.004 square divided by 4 now if you calculate this value m value you should get 7.116 meter minus 1 right so we have the m value right now now we can go ahead and calculate our percentage error so from this one percentage error is equal to this value this is percentage error right so 1 over tan hyperbolic m value we found out right here that is 7.116 times length that is 10 centimeter so we had to convert that one into meter and if you convert this that one into meter that's going to be 0 0.1 and uh, minus 1 right and if you calculate this value you should get 0 0.635 and if you want to express this one in percentage you have to multiply this one by 100 and that's going to give you 63.5 percentage and that's going to be the percentage error we are going to have and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time